What's up guys? Okay, today we will talk about button navigation view from Material.io. So let's get started. Uh, um, to use button navigation view, you need to set up your project using the Material Components team, okay? So that, so that you, your project will be able to use every Material component related from Google I.O. Joint, okay? If you if you get in trouble or you don't know how to set up, just check the link below in the description, okay? I have made a uh, post on Medium about how to set up your project to use the new material component. This is some of the components, okay? Shapes, uh, buttons, and the slant view. That's it, okay? I, I have just an empty an empty layout okay this is nothing so what we need to do is to add the a button navigation view here and set up our main items so that when clicked we can replace the fragment here okay let's get started uh, I have an empty activity okay so the first thing we need to do is to create a menu okay i will remove that okay to see how it works uh just add the new new and resource directory select menu here and click okay the next thing to do is to create a new file inside the menu directory and the, I will call this nav menu, okay? Or just a navigation menu. Next we need to add some items, okay? The title will be on the icon. You also need to set some icons for you for your items okay i will i uh, hardly added the some icons for almost notifications and the settings item icons okay <coughs> so i will set this to home and uh, we also need an id okay Action on we can duplicate this and change it to notifications also notifications and icons for notifications and here to settings settings and the action settings okay i will add the just three three items okay that will be our button options and close this item next we need to come to our main activity and declare the button button navigation view the width set to match parent and more app content okay we will give it an id set it an id calling navigation view which we, we now can see how it will look and take more space from there and <coughs> next we need to to set to our menu so just call app menu okay menu and then set to the navigation menu and you can now see the home notification and settings menu menu items appears at the top of your layout not that i'm using relative layout so when need to place the boat navigation and the button of the view 
of this cream, okay? So, just type button and a lamp parent button to throw. This will put the whole navigation in the bottom of the view. Okay, our bottom navigation is ready. Okay. If you want to change the option menu, I will show it later, okay? For now, we need to handle the navigation click, navigation item click, so set it on navigation item click. Item selected, sorry. Here we just handle the bottom Na navigation item click. We need to return something, okay? Depending on the return state, uh, if you return false, uh, when you click, for example, in notifications, the the tint color will, will not be placed in the selected the item, okay? Will ever stay in the home, okay? So just so you should do return always true. So for this example, we just need to we will just print a, a message depending on the item clicked, okay? So we need to have a message here and was the when from Kotlin and it or just set it give it a name okay item so item dot item id item id okay and here we need to have a toast we we we, we will just print a toast okay the contest will be our activity. The message will be our message string and the, the length will be toast length short. Then we just need to show the toast. Okay, show a message. So depending on the item click, we, we need to to show a different message. So, in case the click the items is the error dot id action uh, on our message will be equals to on. So, if it is notifications, our message will be notifications, and if it is settings our message will be settings okay and here we just we will print the the message the giving message and click test okay everything is ready we can test now but remember something in most cases you will need to set a custom color here okay so in case you want this you can just create a, a xml file okay give me a second i will try to run this okay here here is our navigation okay Settings, click the notifications and on. In case you want to change the or the selected the test and the unselected the test color, you can just give give in drawable files and create a new drawable. Call it nav item background. Okay. And inside this selector, you will have two items, one for checkered state, checkered state to true, set to true, and give you a color. This, this will be the color that Android will call when the, the item is selected, okay? 
I will pass the accent color in and the check the false this will be the color if the item was not selected I will give it the 21 I think this will be good okay or change uh, to a custom color and that's it let's run the, the application oh sorry now we d we need to set this background in our button navigation so item icon tint we need to set it to nav item background okay item test color to nav drawable and nav item back ground then the item icon tint to the same back background drawable okay now let's test this code and see okay that's it it's strange as expected so <coughs> this is changing if you you can come here and give the primary color or just uh, left the accent here and give the primary color and run again so for now the primary color is set to unselected the unchecked items and the color accent to check the items okay that's it guys i i hope i help in something so if you if you ever doubt left a comment below subscribe to my channel okay that's it and we see you in the next video